And this is, I'm just saying this is the most, this is the most strangest feeling. Do you know? <laughs> because we were woken at ten past one in the early hours of the morning. Yes. By a gentleman from the National Trust. Uh, they probably died anyway, because they would have been inhaling arsenic, radioactive stones all around. Well, of course, I like that. Like now, that. now that's nice. That's class. That's class. We're keeping that one. So where are we? What are we doing? What are we doing here? We're on our way to some other place. What's it called? Alex is really good at travel guiding because we're on the way to somewhere or some other place. Or we've been to some other place. <laughs> We're going wait, to wait, Lower, wait. Noah, Lower Blatherwick. Oh, you know where we're going. <laughs> I was just it's about to look it up. It's not. You can go and look it up. Tell me. Come on. Lower, lower Boss. Boswick. <laughs> Alex has spotted something at the side of the road, and I think she's going to tell us all about them. Alex, can you yes. tell us what we've spotted at the side of the road? Welcome to today's episode of Pasty Heaven. Pasty Heaven. This is a pasty oven. The famous Cornish <laughs> pasty bakery, um, shoppy. Well, that's where they make the well. Where they, go and, let's go across the road and have a look. See what they do. Follow me. Are you sure this is a pasty oven? Well, it's obviously a pasty oven. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> because I know the, there is a lot of pasties, but these seem abandoned. These pasty ovens. Well, obviously they technology. Yeah. With the advent of new technology, these old pasty mines have gone out of business. But it's a mine, is it? No. So they actually <laughs> mine. <laughs> so they mine the pasties. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, <laughs> they do. That's, that makes sense. <laughs> but Cornwall is famous for pasty, pasty, pasty mining. mining. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look, it's a big old... Uh, pasty shop. Pasty shop there, look. Nice little bit of rubbish there. Oh yeah, that's a bit of a shame. That is a shame. I think we'll have to take that back and put it in the bin. Oh, look. There you are, that's a pasty display shelf. Oh, we're going to have to take this back. Until it's in the bin. Can't have that. Leave it there then for a second. Not having rubbish left here. That's going to look at the tower. It's in quite good condition. Oh, look, there's a pasty oven there, look. <laughs> you see? see? You see that? Oh, well, you, you seem to know your way around these pasty ovens. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a pasty oven aficionado. I'll have two pasties, please, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. How can I help you? Pasties. Le pasté. It's nice, isn't it? They need to heat their pasties. A little campsite here. Oh, look at that. Well, you didn't give it a wild camping. Oh, fresh poo. So here would be a hole, you know, we're just standing over probably the mine shaft, or it's down there, the mine shaft. Oh, go away, go away. So go down away. there would be a massive hole. I think there's little tiny ponies around here. Uh, no, I think they're not that tiny. <laughs> not with arseholes like that. No, not with big poo blobs. Yeah, it's looking cool, isn't it? It's quite a quite an enterprising uh, uh, place, though, the old pasty oven, isn't it? I'm surprised you know so much about the old pasty ovens. Why? Because I'm not a vegetarian. Because you're not Cornish. Yeah. Well, that's where they light the fires in those little holes. Ah. And then, uh, yeah, in sides of the pasty oven, they have the chimney. That's where the pasties go. Okay. Well, come on, let's have a bacon sandwich, shall we? Yeah, let's. And I'll dispose of this rubbish. Pretty cool, though. So, do you fancy a bacon sandwich or not? I do. My love. Or a pasty. We haven't got a pasty, so a bacon sandwich will do nicely. Thank you. I'll just wipe my hands after that. I'm making coffee, you're making bacon sandwiches. <laughs> so excited. Because <laughs> we can do this, we can just drive along, stop. 
cook bacon sandwiches, make a cup of coffee, look at the pasty oven, and then go for a walk. Yeah, we can. Splendid. The bacon's cooking fine there, look. I'm just having a bit of fish for that. I think that's good. Bacon butty. So we're just having a bacon rub, bacon sandwich. And this is, I'm just saying this is the most, this is the most strangest feeling that we can actually just stop, have a cup of tea. It seems so laid back and so easy going. Mm -hmm. Forgot about this. <laughs> so, where are you? Um, we're at a tin mine. Tin mine? In Cornwall. Oh, yeah. Where is the... <laughs> oh, we'll do it again. Action, ready? Action. No, what is it? It's a tin mine. Yeah, where, what is this place called? Uh, yeah, so you can't believe Levant, it. isn't it? Levant, yeah. Levant, Levant. Right, action ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let me just walk, walk away, walk from there, yeah. and then, like, as if you're, like, looking over, just as if you're looking out to sea. Okay, all right. And then, no, no, ready? And then do a high there. You're welcome to Levant's tin mine, ready? Right, let me just see if it, that's it. Action. Oh, quite dramatic. Oh, well, the right. Yeah. Oh, go on then. Glorious day. It is a glorious day. <laughs> it wasn't to start with. No. It was cold and and dew. Yeah. Here we are at this beautiful old tin mine. Okay. Is it just tin? No, copper tin. Did you do copper as well? Yeah. 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 When was it started up? How, how much was a share originally? Twenty pounds a share. Yeah. And what sort of dividend did they get back on the share? About twelve thousand five hundred a year. That's not bad, is it, for twenty quid? Yeah, actually, yeah. twenty quid. What a And they would have an annual general meeting. Yeah. Um, to discuss how much they got. Yeah. The shareholders. Got. Okay. And, um, they were called adventurers. Oh, okay. And they would have these massive dinners with okay. lots of ale and, and wine and spirits. And yeah. it was lovely. Okay. Apparently, so people would just buy shares just so they could attend these fancy dinners. Okay. Yeah. So, um, who did the mining? What sort of people? Miners. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking children, although they probably did. They were, it was, it was children yeah, and they, women. No, they did the, um, the shaking out. They didn't actually go down and dig the stuff out. They did the what separating did the... Okay. Getting the rubbish out. And yeah. Spalling and the... Planning. Fracking. No, not fracking. I don't know what it's called. I can't no. remember now. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. I, yeah, I really am yeah. interested. I'm very impressed. And the vat, this mine here... Yeah. Yeah. Because we were down at that one there, yeah. which is a different one. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. They restored and worked in the beam engine. Oh. Now, I don't really know what the beam engine is. I do. But it's down there. I do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we go and walk past the beam engine or? Let's walk past the beam engine. Can we move? Okay. Yeah. We will. We will, Mrs. Slaw. If you only were. <laughs> <laughs> there, over there is the beam engine. You can just see it in the horizon. We'll take you down there and let you have a look at the, the old beamer. When we get down. When we get down. The tour guide is a little slow. So although this is a 25 minute tour, 20 minutes of it is taken up coming down these steps. <laughs> have you seen these? <laughs> We've all seen them, these. I could actually play it forwards 
backwards and you running up at 20 times the speed. I was going to say 10 times the speed, but I think 20 is needed. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the tin mine. It's really very interesting. I'm really in, impressed with it, actually. I'm impressed that you can just walk around it and have a look. But these are the houses. Let me just show you the houses. Let me just turn you around. So this is where the miners would live. There's the, there's the old uh, pasty wagons, over, pasty ovens over there. And then this is the, the houses that the miners would have lived in. So let's walk down to the uh, the beam engine anyway, come on. Eighteen thirty. Eighteen twenty. Eighteen twenty. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't poo-pooing your uh, your knowledge of the tin mining industry in uh, Cornwall. And they only had twenty shares, so only twenty um, sets of tin twenty pounds. So total capital of four hundred pounds to start this mine. It's not bad, is it? And it was that possible within a year they were paying dividends for over the next 20 years of approximately 12 and a half grand per year. That's not bad is it? That's pretty good going. Yeah. I wonder how rich the old miners and the, uh, the women were. They must have had a profit for themselves as well. They would have paid themselves, they weren't paid workers. What's this, darling? Mine shaft. You wouldn't have made a very good miner, actually, with your knees. Do you know that? Oh, look, darling. Oh, no wonder they didn't make that much money. Shorted? Yes, shorted Is that a proper word, shorted? Shorted. Okay. All right, you would make a good miner coming uphill. It's getting down there. No. <laughs> That's a pasty milling device for milling pasties. What do you think it is? An air net. I think it's for a gun. I think that's a um, World War II gun thing. Well, let's look at the view of it. Ill fart. So these are the famous pasty ovens, but they're not actually pasty ovens, they're for making arsenic. So they would burn the stone in these smelters that we were standing in earlier. And all this stuff is the arsenic that we've been standing in. So, yeah. I'm sure the arsenic has been washed away by rain. Well, I would have thought so. Can you show, can you demonstrate the pasty oven, darling? So, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. Or arsenic. Slide your pasty in there. Yeah. You slam your little cover down. Yeah. And leave it in there to bake 25 minutes. Yeah, voila, you've got a pasty. <laughs> you hold the pasty by the crust, yeah. Yeah. Throw the crust away because I've got all over it. Probably going to die. Yeah, well, Unless you're die. really hungry. Uh, they probably died anyway because <laughs> they would have been inhaling plastic, radioactive stones all around. Yeah, they didn't have very long lives to pay. <laughs> Over here, this is part of the tin mining bit there, though. This is where they made the, they did the riddling. Spalling, is it called? Separating, yeah. 
The dross from the what, darling? Oh. oh. Never gets tired, that one. That's a typical arsenic oven there. Not pasty ovens as we once thought. Yeah, that's cool. And there they are. The old arsenic oven. What's that then? Oh, it's a flower grinder. Then when the flower was all ground, they cut up the horse, and that was the filling for the plastic. Oh, I see. And cool. then they didn't have to worry about feeding the horse. Because <laughs> all they had, really, was wheat, which they needed for the pastas, and um, horse meat. Can't feed a horse horse meat, can you? It's correct. They're vegetarians. Well, no. Actually, I think they're vegan. <laughs> they tell me. So, uh, so what did you think to your uh, your, your adventure in a tin mine? Well, I loved it. Yes. Yes, and I've even got the sticker. Can you hold I've it up? Done there. Got the sticker. Oh yeah, tin mine. And. Oh, well, see. Oh, you bought something else. Oh, fridge magnet. What does that say? Give a tin mine. Yeah, give us a tin mine. Does that say? Yeah. It's made of How much is that? Stainless steel, £3.50. £3.50 for stainless steel, that's not bad. Oh, that looks what nice. No, not a hointy angle. What, a jointy angle? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are. Whatever you fancy. Kerno. Let's give it the white because it's a bit Oh, yeah, make sure you do it proper. Right, should we go and have a cup of coffee? Oh, and a digestive. <gasps> oh, do I'm not doing it here. Okay. We'll go and find a nice spot and look over the sea. Okay then. Come on then. Are you a bit sleepy? Well, do you know what? I am. Why are you sleepy? I what happened? I am sleepy because we got up at half past six this morning. Half past six? Yes, because we were woken at ten past one in the early hours of the morning. Yes. By a gentleman from the National Trust. What did he want? He said, you can't park here. Oh. Because we were on National Trust land. Oh, right. Now, I knew that we couldn't park across the road in the car park. Yes. Because there was a sign there. But oh. there was no sign in the bit where we were parked. No. So, I thought, oh, well, good. We got to move then. And he said, you can stay here tonight. I'll just tell them that you've got a problem with your engine. <laughs> and you promised that you'd join up into National Trust in the morning. I am. And we'd never do it again. Ah, really? And he said, okay then. And he yeah. was very really sweet. And he was like... I thought it was a little woodpecker. <laughs> I thought it was a birdie. I didn't think it was a, a real no, man. It was, nobody knocks on No bird knocks like that. <laughs> we got the knock. But the little, little van in front of us, they shot off straight away, didn't they? Yeah. Although the... Um, the van across the road that was in the actual wrong car park. I know, that is still there. With the, with the parking, no parking sign there. That said, they were still there. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah, you know, Where are we now? We are now at some beauty spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to work on where we are. Across there, oh, let's just take it. We're parked on top of the cliffs. But across there, you may be able to see that is actually Land's End. That's Land's End over there. We haven't been to Land's End. We have no intention of going. But that is Land's End. Up the road there's a little hillock thing, which is evidently a tomb or a castle or something like a cairn. But I'll just take you down to the water's edge, look. That's, That's Land's End over there. There's a little beach there. Not right quite down there. That's a pan the other way. Outcrop there, and a post right down the bottom there. I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, it's quite nice, a lovely place. And then over it is our little van. There's a pirate there with a fish.
Actually, you know, I don't think that was a pirate. I think he was just a fisherman. Mm. Or maybe a fisherman's friend. There's a lonely person down there on the beach. Looking for pebbles. That's a bit sad. It's a yew tree, it's a fucking yew tree there. Wow. Look at that, that's a yew tree, isn't it? This is a St Michael's Mount. St Michael's Mount. We've just paid for how much? Four quid. But unfortunately, taking us quarter past four to close. Taking us 20 minutes to get here. 20 minutes to get here. I'm a little disappointed because there's a lot of He's pushing it across this causeway and he's going to be so disappointed when he gets here because he won't get it. But it's been, a, it's been an adventure getting across it. Maybe we can get a photograph a bit later. Uh, high tide. Oh, I cannot believe it's so close. Closed. Closed. So close. Right, so we're going to walk back now, maybe get another photograph and see if we can find a pasty. Pasty in a fridge, mate, then. Right, right. Okay. Thanks for coming to St Michael's Mount. We'll be here next week. No, we won't. No. We won't be coming back. We won't be coming back. They've missed their chance. And the, I'll be honest with you. The vessel just starting to piss me right off. That's what we could have had. That's what we could have had there, look. This there. If we could pick it and be here before. Hey. So, uh, oh, hi. How would you get on? <laughs> now then, <laughs> you sent me in the shop. Yeah. For one fridge magnet. One fridge magnet. That's all we needed. So we just need. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. Four of them. All the same. For all the same. For the same person? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. And this time I only got three. Three? <laughs> That's St. nice. St. Michael's Mont. Yeah. And a little 3D corner. Oh, cool. I like that. No, that. no, that's nice. That's class. That's class. We're keeping that one. That's and a keeper. A little pirate map. Bloody pirates, you and bloody pirates. <laughs> Should we just put in there for an ice, ice cream? You never know what you might see. No, but I could eat one. Go on then, let's have a look in there. Who for?